Good morning, camera. Today, I was feeling spooky. So I googled spooky treats, and I found one. It's called, I don't remember what it's called. They're pizza mummy faces. So today, I'm gonna make pizza mummy faces. And now, as always, we will uh, be starting with the ingredients part. Except for the times when I forget. But this is not one of those times. You will need pasta sauce, shredded cheese, pepperoni. And, uh, the recipe actually called for pre-rolled pastry something, but I couldn't find that. So we're gonna use crescent rolls because um, that's kind of the same thing, I hope. Also, I got some eye sprinkles so we can put eyes on the mummies. All right, on to the preparing of the meal part. All right, this next part is always the hardest. I must open the canister without screaming. All right, let's see. All right, so I rolled out this very uncooperative dough and uh, found this circle. I'm gonna use this circle to uh, make circles for the mummy faces. Welcome to the time-lapse part of the video, Disembodied Mom. I thought it would be fun if we had a spooky mummy fact. So I can hardly wait. I've got one for you. In uh, the 16th and 17th centuries, there was a paint called Mummy Brown that was made of real ground-up mummies. You told me this when you were in middle school, and I was quite horrified at the time. Okay, I think I figured out. I figured it out. It's a, you need to twist. I need to twist more vigorously to make the circles. Aha, uh -huh, a perfect circle that is not oblong in any God damn it. All right. We'll try again. All right, the perfect circle. So now we just need to lay these out. Uh, next it says I need to put the cheese and the sauce on the circles. So I'm gonna go do that. Mummy fact, the oldest mummies were actually found in uh, around northern Chile, southern Peru. Wow. Yeah, not even Egypt. Who knew? All right, toppings on. Now it's time to cut some uh, strips of the dough so that it looks like mummy bandages. Hey, disembodied mom, I've got another wild mummy fact about those Victorians. I believe it. They liked to uh, mash up the mummies and then eat them to cure uh, headaches and ulcers. Ugh. So one reason why mummies are kind of rare is because uh, we ate them. I'm horrified. <laughs> So, disembodied mom, do you know it was interesting? No. There was a mummy, and inside that mummy there was found to be traces of cocaine and nicotine, which are substances that are only found in the Americas. Transatlantic uh, transportation. Yes, there's a, there's a theory that the Egyptians went to uh, South America. I don't see why it couldn't be the other way around. True. But I don't know enough about boats to make any arguments about that. <laughs> I'm sure somebody will risk life and limb at some point trying to prove that theory. Um, I realized something while I was cutting uh, these up actually, which is that I forgot to put the pepperoni on the pizzas. So, need to fix that. Alright, so I put the pepperoni on. I've been trying to decide whether I should put these eyeballs in first, before I put in the strips, or second. I think I'm gonna put them in first because then I can know where the eye holes are supposed to be. All right, good talk. You wanna know what else the Victorians like to do with mummies? Probably not. Uh, they would have these parties where they would get a mummy and then they would unravel it and then just watch it disintegrate. <sighs> yeah, <laughs> those Victorians needed to leave the mummies alone. Alright, uh, next it says we're supposed to use the circle to try and cut off the edges and tamp them down. I'm not confident that that's going to work, but we'll see. I'll be sure to twist vigorously this time. It isn't about it, Mom. I know that you're a fan of Mark Twain. Indeed. Do you know he once started a rumor that the Egyptians were using mummies as train fuel? <laughs> no, but that <laughs> sounds like him. All right, next I'm going to put them in the oven for about 15 minutes. The recipe says to do it at 390 degrees, but my oven only does 20, 
five degrees at a time, so I did 400 because, you know, close enough. All right, I'm gonna cook the mummies now. Or baking. Technically, I think this might be baking. I'm never quite sure what the difference is between baking and cooking and whatever. I'm gonna make this hot until I can eat it. All right, so the pizzas are done. And unsurprisingly, I've made an error. I think maybe I should have put the sprinkle eyes on last because this is just terrifying. Oh well, I guess it is spooky, you know. Because it's spooky Halloween snack time. So I guess that works out. All right, uh, so I'm gonna wait until Disembodied Mom gets home and then we're going to sample the mummy pizza faces. All right, so Disembodied Mom came home and since Justin's not here, I didn't really see any reason to set up by the table. So, Mom's just uh, standing behind the, uh, the camera. Are you ready for your pizza face? I am ready. And uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and let you guess, Disembodied Mom, what error I made. Oh boy. Um, the puff pastry didn't really puff. Well, it wasn't oh, actually much. puff pastry. I couldn't find any puff pastry, I, so I used crescent roll dough. So I guess I actually made two errors. Okay. Is that supposed to be an eyeball in there? Yes, yes it is. I think that maybe I should have put the eyes in after I cooked them, because they sort of melted into the pizza. Uh, are they candy? Yeah. Okay. All right, let's so take a bite. I'm supposed to taste it. Mmm. All right, it's a pizza, and also one sprinkle. Oh, she's really inspecting it. I'd say it's pizza adjacent. Wow. It's a little, little bit salty. It's a burn. It's a little bit salty. Well, I didn't... You don't have to take it that way. I think it's, I think that that's the crescent roll dough. Mm-hmm. All right. I'm gonna call this a spooky success. <laughs>